Some of the creditors have made it clear that unless their debts are paid to them, or they can see that their debts are going to be paid to them, uh, they could institute proceedings to wind up the cooperative. And so you've decided. The chairman of the superannuation... <laughs> It'll take me in my budgets, it's going to take me three years to recover from this if we have good years from here on to get back to where I was in 1979. And if it doesn't rain this year? I haven't thought of that, but I don't think I will recover if it doesn't rain this year at all. It'll take me ten years to recover from that, I'm sure.
sort of thing for the Murrundi Shire because it means as much to me as it does to you. I want to go about and do their job. But their job is to do the will of the people. Stands a somersault and says we're going to This Shire is unique in New South Wales in as much as it... goes on and on, but why Nelson Bay for our first street corner meeting? I'll tell you, because... ...works or of the conglomerate of industries around those works. Yes, I had intended to, re to retire next year at the state election. What this has done is uh, uh, brought, it for brought it forward about nine or ten months, but the... Uh, the federal scene would have been a new one. I felt that I'd run my race after 25 years as member for Maitland in the state scene and it was time to do something else. Uh, the Area Health Board for the invitation they extended uh, to me can be completed when the need arises without disruption to existing services. It would have been delayed had the New South Wales Government not embarked upon a, a program of rationalisation of hospital services made necessary by the fiscal policies of the Federal Government which refused to recognise any new hospital services being brought online. In order to open this hospital at Wyong, savings had to be made elsewhere in, New South Wales, in the New South Wales public hospital system.
It's not a matter of whether that report is good, bad or indifferent. It's whether the people want the open cut here or not. And they That's don't right. want an open cut mine here. These yeah. people are not giving it. I'm gonna sit right down and write myself a letter and make believe it came from you. Um, how lucky we all are to be able to speak here tonight. Yeah. Cut my, I would ask you to accept this in the sincerity and to achieve the success that he has tried to achieve in the ad about well, this is Newcastle, if we know Newcastle people. And he's representing the Autistic Children Association. Is given, is given. Thank you very much. Nice to have you here. Ladies and gentlemen, the first of
Diane, when did you first find out about the win? Yesterday morning, man from Lotto rang me up. What was your initial reaction? Oh, going right up into the sky somewhere. <laughs> Have you come back down to earth yet? Maybe 50,000, I don't know. That amounts. Right? Take a holiday? Well, because she had farm numbers right, she says, and she rang her mum. And Any ideas of celebrations now? For check up and make sure you got the fight. You might have your mum hopping around for nothing. She's checked back again, and the whole place erupted. The tears flying everywhere, and she says, I've got six. That's when I sent up and took them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to try again. Yeah. <laughs>